Alrighty guys, hey, let's talk about bespoke post. Um, there's a subscription service and well, every month you get a new box uh, if you don't pay attention. Uh, if you do decide to go with a subscription with them, well, we'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check that out. But if you decide to go with a subscription with them, uh, definitely, definitely check your boxes every month. Uh, around the second or the third of the month. See if it's something you want. Uh, if it's not, delete it or swap it out to another box. Find something you want. Don't, don't do like I did or do and get a whole bunch of stuff that you don't even know what it is. Because I'm horrible about paying attention. I, I've gotten a couple that I actually did select or swapped out. Uh, but then there's several that I didn't even pay attention that showed up on my porch and I'm like, this is and I think there was two boxes that I really just didn't like uh, I mean I'll, I'll use them just because that that's me I, I paid I paid for them I'll use the items in them uh, but wouldn't have been something that I would have picked or something that I would have been like oh cool you know so we'll see if we can figure out what this one is uh, oh this is the swing kit that's uh, a hatchet nice Ooh, I didn't want to swim my address so this is actually one that I selected that I wanted. And then I got it and I set it on the shelf and I, yeah. I said, yeah I'll, yeah, I'll get to it. Of course, I think it was middle winter and uh, well, you know, it really wasn't the time to be going outside and playing. Prepping kindling with ax for beginners. Oh, okay, that's cool little card here you have a small piece of dry wood split from a large log and stand it on a stump at a surface you don't mind damaging in a smooth controlled motion gently or man and this is an axe gently really swing your axe towards the top of the wood aiming for the center we can't even aim for the toilet You know you've done it. You know you have. You know it. You know it. Don't even deny it. Because if you deny it, we'll just ask your wife. Okay. Uh, while stabilizing... Okay, we got it. Aiming to the center while stabilizing the wood. Not that wood. The actual wood. Uh, you don't want to hit that. Ah, uh -uh. No. All right. With your non-dominant hand. The goal should be for the axe blade to embed fully in the wood. Again, not that wood. Wood. Tree wood. Real wood. Once it gets stuck, grab the middle of the axe handle and use a hammering motion. Drive the blade through the wood, small spurts, until the axe passes through cleanly. Repeat as necessary to achieve your desired kindling size. Swings vertically with the grain of the wood, applying the... Um, applying the, and then it cuts off right there. Applying the, Let's see right here. Applying the, and big space, and then different sentence, different paragraph, different thing together. To prep tinder, you get fired. They use a scraper on a dry piece of wood, like a cheese grater for wood shavings. Okay, so anyway, I had to read that because it sounded fun. Ah. <clears throat> uh, so they do have this cheese grater in here uh, for, I guess, making your kindling to start your fire. So you're going to use it like a cheese grater, and you're going to scrape it back and forth on a piece of wood uh, to cut off little shavings. Uh, it does feel like it's pretty sharp. It's also got this little saw thing right here. I'm not sure what to use that for. So let's see. The Ready Man. Okay, that's what this is called. It is the Ready Man. And I guess it's made by Ready Man. Because uh, www.readyman.com. Let's see, the Ready Man Tinder Scraper is easy to use. Here's how. Find any dry piece of wood. Scrape against the wood. With your Tinder, use it as a basis for a fire. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, okay. Cool. I guess it's supposed to give you a little itty-bitty little sh or, uh, wooden shavings. Uh, <clears throat> I like that it's about credit card size, but uh, not sure because you start scraping this way. 
well, your, your fingers are going to be hitting. So you start scraping this way. Well, your fingers are going to be hitting. Um, I, I guess it's something I'm just going to have to play with and, and figure out. <clears throat> um, this isn't, I mean, this is what, probably, probably a $3 item that they threw in. Just to, you know, just to, you know, because it went with the X. <clears throat> so it's not, I, I'm, I mean, I kind of, maybe, maybe nitpicking. Well, this was made by Ren. Huh. I have a, I have a Bluetooth speaker made by Ren. Okay, so, this is the X. Ah. This is a piece of plastic. You don't cut plastic with an X. So. Look at the top of it here. It looks like it's pretty sturdy. It looks like it's ah, put in there pretty good. Uh, the handle looks nice. It looks very clean. Well, I love the I love the WW, which is the same WW as what's on my Ren speaker. So kudos for that. Uh, there is a metal sh or a, not a metal a wooden shaving here that is sticking out ever so slightly, uh, which I almost got a splinter from that. Right out of the box, never even used it. So, uh, quality control, guys. Quality control. Another metal or uh, wooden shaving there. It's, uh, it's just so hard. Just so hard. All right. Maybe a little bit of sanding to help. I don't know. Uh, kind of rough still. Right, right in that crack where those shavings came out of. But uh, we'll, we'll forgive them. And another, there's another rough spot right here. Where some shavings are coming off. Uh, I mean, can you see them? Yeah, you can see them. I can see them. So, um, definitely, definitely need to do a better job of sanding these things down. Uh, but as far as an axe goes, we don't care about the imperfections. Uh, it's an axe, guys. You're going to be probably wearing gloves when you use this, so. All, everything I'm pointing out, probably no one cares. I don't even care. I'm just pointing it out because it's, it's something worth pointing out. A uh, little rubber uh, grip here on the blade. Uh, doesn't appear to be overly sharp. Uh, although, I do notice, again, again, it's minor details that really says a lot about your company. Um, Let's see if you can see it on there. Uh, not really, not really. Right here, right here. You really can't see it. Uh, I can see it. Um, let's see it the other, other side. Maybe the other side will be a little more visible. There you go. It's a little bit better. See it? It's a burn mark. Here, we'll try to. Can we focus on that? No. Okay. Let me put my head behind it and see if we can focus on it. No, not really. Yeah, right there, right there. See the brown? See the brown? It's a burn mark. Right there. Right there. Little burn mark. Okay. <clears throat> it's on both sides. So when, when the person was... They paused there. On both sides. So that tells me that there's something there and it is thicker there. That's, that's exactly why. That's exactly why they paused there. On both sides it's, it's thicker right there so this probably stamped out through some machine and then ran through and bzz, 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 sharpened real quick well paused because this machine didn't stamp it quite right and it is a little bit thicker right there uh, not really thicker up here not really thicker down here just a little bit thicker right where that burn mark is on both sides I, Again, it's an axe. No one's really going to care. I'm just pointing it out because it's something that I saw. And minor details really speak to your customers. Uh, your customers might not care about it, and most of them won't. Most of them could care less. <clears throat> but if I go to sharpen this at some point in the future, that's a problem I'm going to run into. Is I'm going to hit, I'm going to get stuck on that uh, because it is a little bit thicker. That's something I'm going to have to work out. Uh, 
and it's something that you guys should have addressed and should have paid attention to. So you can really see it at a distance. I mean, it looks like there's almost like a notch out of it, but it's not. It's just a burn mark. You see it on this one? You still can't really see it on this side that well. I can see it. It's the first thing I saw when I, well, the second thing, because, well, the well, first thing I saw is I, I felt this, and then I saw that. <clears throat> So we're going to try this out, uh, not on this video, because I, you know, we're just going over the quality of the item. <clears throat> and minor little imperfections like that really speak volumes about the quality. Uh, I'm sure it functions fine as a hatchet. Uh, do a little bit better job of sanding your, uh, your handles down. And, well, check your stamping machine because that is quite a bit thicker. You can even feel it through the, through the rubber. I mean, you can feel that minor difference. Um, just in case you're, you're wondering, Ren, it's about a half inch down from the top. Just in case you haven't changed your machine in, I don't know, I probably had this Four months, five months, six months, I don't remember. Just in case you haven't hecked your machines in quite a few months, half inch down from the top. Okay? Right around a half inch. Your knuckle should be about an inch. And well, it's about half of the knuckle. So and you can check your stock and see burn marks. So maybe, maybe get that fixed. Other than those two minor things, <clears throat> you know, almost getting a splinter and you know mark it does look very nice it really does uh of course you can tell what was maybe put on a lathe i don't know put on some sort of machining uh that hole is slightly off center i know i'm nitpicking i'm nitpicking but uh i don't care about that hole i mean i could care less and i don't even, don't even care i'm gonna look at it a hundred times Oh, now I, now I didn't notice something else. See, that hole right there made me notice something else. Whatever finish you guys put on here, bled over just a little bit into the grain. Uh, right there. Did not bleed in up here at all. There's this right up here. There's no finish on this right here. None. Uh, down here looks like there's some finish. Feels like there's some finish on there. But right here, Oh, if, if it's there, it's barely. I mean, ooh, it might be there. And, and I know end grain is really hard. It really sucks up those finishes and everything else. But, I mean, this right here, that is thick, 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 and even thick a little bit over here, a little thicker. Uh, nothing. Eh, thin, which uh, this would be a good It'd be a good thickness here. Uh, way too thick there. Which is what got me to go. Ooh. <clears throat> so minor imperfections really, 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 really makes people pay attention to more imperfections. Um, <laughs> anyway, it, as far as a hatchet goes, it's fine. It'll be fine. We don't care about the little imperfections. <sighs> we care about hitting things and destroying things. Ah! Whoops, in all my excitement, I did not pay attention to uh, this. Uh, There's a sheath for this. It, it fell on the ground, so I don't have to keep the rubber piece on. I can slide it right into the sheath. And then snap it. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I really love you guys' speaker, Ren. I really love you guys' speaker. <sighs> okay. You had to pull a little bit on that just to get it up there. Uh... It does go on, so that's that's the important.